Malik Jaziri, 34 years old. And my best shot is forehand. The surprise semi-finalist at this year's Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships has had an inspirational journey. After nearly quitting tennis in his mid-twenties, after struggling to crack the top 300, Malik Jaziri was then sidelined by injury. Age 25, the Tunisian signed up to be a hitting partner at Roland Garros, and everything changed. I come back and I was in Paris, you know, so I went to uh, Roland Garros and I made the sparring partner for uh, some guys to hit with the guys, you know, I was happy, you know, to come back and didn't play a long time and then to come back with very top level. So it was my first time that uh, I come in Roland Garros to play, you know, like uh, to hit some balls there. So uh, and I hit with uh, some guys, if I remember, with the Marine and center court, you know, Silic. So uh, it was a really good moment and gave me more confidence, you know, that I can I can make it, you know. And since that day, I, I went uh, to Spain to practice and uh, here I am today. At that time, especially when, uh, when I was practicing with Malek, it was already now a long time ago. I remember that uh, he was uh, also re really talented as he is today and definitely really eager to play with anyone. You could see that the guy was, that Malek was extremely talented, that he was playing really, really easy. You know, he had uh, fluency in his shots and that uh, he could, you know, he was uh, promising. Yeah, I, I broke, I think, on 27, uh, the top 100, so uh, uh, usually maybe the guys, they, you know, they get in maybe in 23, let's say 24. I mean, it's not easy, you know, when uh, when you don't have, like, some players, you know, from the same country, you don't know the way how to, 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 to arrive, you know, you don't know how, how to make it, you know, to be professional, nobody make it before you. Of course, he came late, he came very late, but, but he has a story, an incredible story, you see, because when he was a kid, Sometimes for a year or, or maybe two, he couldn't play. So now that's maybe the reason why he came so late, that he, he, he just postponed something. But now he's here and he's still young in his head and he's, ready, he's still ready to work. Tunisia's most accomplished player hopes to inspire a future generation of talent to take up the game in his nation. He's certainly got the charisma for it. Hopefully I can be a locomotive, you know, and, uh, uh, and the players want to be, uh, be like me or even better than me. So this is, uh, you have to, to believe, you have to explore, you know, to have uh, in yourself and self-confidence to make it, you know. If I make it, they can make it. I learn every day. I'm a good uh, student, so I learn every day from uh, the mistakes from the past and uh, and I'm learning from the, even from the better player than me and learning from my coach, learning from uh, around the people who want me the best for me. So I'm learning from that and to become a better person. If I'm a better person, I can make it better on court. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the March Masters are underway. It's Indian Wells. And we talk Californian college tennis with Steve Johnson. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com, which this week features a live blog from Indian Wells. And chat with us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.